It's myths from my life myths. So in my previous video I talked about how to kind of organize your bits and pieces that you've collected on your trip so that so that it's not so overwhelming and it's a little bit more organized and easier to journal. This video I wanted to show you I guess the next step um, and how I determine uh, how many pages that I want to use. Like I mentioned earlier I want to create a separate book specifically just for this golden week trip and I can easily just use a blank um, you know insert but I don't like having you know lots of blank pages left behind and in the past I have uh, just continued to journal other things for the blank pages using up the blank pages but this time I want to try out you know creating just one insert for this specific golden week trip so now that I have, like in my previous video, I have grouped all the days together. I will now, um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess, little groups uh, that I want to journal about. And so what I want to do is determine how many pages each little group gets or each little section gets. So I'm just going to start off with this one. And see you know how many things are there and and so for those of you who are more visual type of people who those pe people that need to have it laid out just to see what will work and what will not work that kind of thing um, you can go ahead and just vaguely or you can go ahead and just randomly you know drop things here and there and get a get an idea of how many pages you will think you will use for the number of things that you have. So I think for this first grouping, I know I want to use this one. So this is going to take up one whole side. And there's this and some receipts. So I think I will use four, like four pages. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll most likely do four. So I'm going to pin it back together. And if you do your spread and you're still not 100% sure how many pages you think you'll use, better to use um, or estimate more pages just in case. So this first one, I will use four pages. And then the second one is this grouping here. Actually, this is part. Maybe I'll, this is part of the first group here. Maybe I will need more than four. Actually, this should be okay. You can always tip in. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I will show you a little later on what a tip in is. But if you don't have enough space, you can always tip the pages or pictures in. You can tip in like little business cards here and there. Uh, but I will show you that later on. So this is still part of group number one and I'm I'm estimating that I will need four pages. This is my group number two and I think I'm just going to use two pages for this one. So two pages and group three I will So group three, I'm going to do two pages. Um, this is group number three. Let me write down three. This is number two. So how do you guys, I'm curious to know how you guys journal your trips in your traveler's notebooks. Do you have everything together? and you just kind of tackle it all at one time or do you organize it like this uh, day by day? I'm curious to know. So that was number three. The fourth one is this one. And this one I guess I will also do two pages. Here. 
so now I can calculate roughly how many pages I want to have in my journaling notebook here. So I've calculated that the total will be 18 pages. I'm not really good with math, but if you uh, did that, if you divided that in two, it will be nine. This will be the cover page. I'm just going to count it out loud. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Perfect. And if you're still, you know, um, unsure and you know that you're going to do a lot more writing, you can always add in another page just in case. It doesn't hurt. It's just one extra page. So now that I have my pages selected, I know that I can designate this notebook for journaling my, um, my Golden Week vacation here and I know that I'm not going to waste a lot of paper and it's nice to kind of archive through your I guess vacations or little events or trips or anything like that instead of having them all in a big notebook like this. It's nice to have that, it's just I think it would be nice to archive specific big events um, if you can just archive them one by one and have you know each notebook designated for the trip. So that's it for this video. I hope it's not too long. Um, so in my next video I will show you a process video. I don't think I will do a process video for all of these six bundles here but I will show you how I decorate my pages or journal my pages and hopefully at the end of it all I will be able to do a flip through of what it looks like. And I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions as always please feel free to leave in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.